I'm going to show you how to turn on the captions or subtitles in different languages um, in YouTube and to translate entire pages with the Google Translate Chrome extension. So it might be helpful as you're watching this video to change the captions um, to whichever language you need. So the first thing you need to do in YouTube is to select the subtitles to make sure they are on. Currently it's translating it to Spanish on mine here. Um, but if you go to the little settings here, you can click subtitles and make sure you click auto translate, then you can select whichever language you need. So make sure to do that for this video that you're currently watching, if that will help you. And then we're going to look at how to use the Chrome extension for Google Translate. So I have a few things on here translated already into Spanish because I know I have a lot of Spanish speaking students, but you may need another language. Um, and so if that's the case, we want to find the Google Translate Chrome extension. So we can Google Google Translate Chrome extension and we want this extension right here. That takes us to a page like this and we just want to click Add to Chrome and we're going to add extension. And so that adds the Google Translate extension there. It doesn't always show up right away as the extension right here, so we just need to click on the little extension button here and make sure to click the little pin for Google Translate. Then it's going to always show up over here, so if you ever need to translate anything on a web page, you can click this right here and it will help you translate an entire page. So for example, for photography, but also for stained glass or any web page you're looking at, um, you can go to, let's find an assignment here. Let's go to our Photoshop collage assignment and we need to translate this and everything else on the web page. So we're going to go up to Google Translate, the extension here, and you can click Translate this page. And that will translate the entire page. So if we click Translate this entire page, we can select the language. Right now it's in English, so we can click this menu and we can click on any of these. So let's see, where did Spanish go? There's Spanish, and now it has translated the entire page. You can always go back and say show original to go back to the English that the page originally is. Or you can click this here and select any other language you may need. Let's find another one. Let's say we want German. Or is it Japanese? Oh, we need to click translate. There we go. So that will translate that. You just have to select whichever language you need. 